Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button? We are on day 10, you guys, of my 13th night of fright. Today we're talking about 28 days later. So 28 Days Later is a 2002 British post-apocalyptic horror sci-fi film that was directed by Danny Boyle. It is rated R. It was released in the US in 2003 and it is an hour and 53 minutes long. Now 28 Days Later really changed the way that zombies or non-zombies, however you want to put your take on what exactly the rage virus is, like a rabbit disease virus kind of crap and the reason I say that for those of you who probably have never seen this movie or have anything about the movie in general there is like a huge controversy whether these things are actually zombies or not zombies technically speaking I guess they're not really zombies they're just literally infused with rage but they want to like murder you but they don't actually eat you so I guess that kind of takes away from the zombie take they get infected by the rage virus because some freaking ass activists break into a freaking lab find some damn little monkeys who are infected with this said virus they decide to set them free even though they look really like Ugh. honestly I would have left them in a damn cage like I would have been like I feel like you're in there for the security of everybody even though like I kind of want to set you free but like you don't look like you all up there. They all get murdered. One of them though, Jim, he ends up in a coma and when he wakes up from the coma, well 28 days later have passed and like literally the whole world is like flipped upside down. And honestly, if you are a fan of The Walking Dead but you've never actually seen this movie, the first scene that we did get with Rick when he wakes up from the hospital you know everything again upside down literally they just copied it straight out of this i mean obviously i didn't know that when i saw the walking dead but when i saw 28 days later i was just like immediately it popped into my head i go walking dead totally stole that from you guys so we do follow cillian murphy who does play jim i want to go ahead and let you guys know in case you've never seen this movie you do see um his little member there this is not only the character's way but us as an audience to see what's been going on within these 28 days like literally the virus i have never seen let me just tell you guys right now a virus that acts as quickly as this i mean normally you know when you do get like a zombie attack you get bitten and it's like they go through like a change you know then they die and then they kind of come back but one of the things within this movie is that you don't necessarily just have to get bit like anything any kind of bodily fluid gets on you you got the damn virus and you literally like turn like that like it's crazy how fast the rage virus works and I kind of wanted a little bit more explanation within the rage virus to be honest with you I mean like why don't they t attack themselves like you know they're always just attacking like the humans i feel like if it's like a rage right you would be upset angry whatever with like everything and everyone so it's like how come they never like you know fought or like try to rip each other up or whatever and then they're literally like chasing and running after all these like people I think that might be like the only question really that i have so if you guys happen to know let me know down below it still does age well not great i feel like but it does still age i like a lot of the the stuff that that's happening within the movie i'm like oh shit and the film quality though is they do have some really nice shots but as far as like the film quality is not the greatest and my understanding is if you do have the movie just go ahead and just get it like regular like dvd don't even waste on getting it like blu-ray I'm, I'm assuming that even like in 4k because I, i've heard that the transfer is trash the rest of the world has had these 28 days to adapt and to basically they're just not surviving right and jim is barely getting to this whole new thing that he doesn't know the rules he doesn't know what you need to be doing um he does come in contact with celine and this other guy can't remember his name and oh my god i feel so bad for that i kind of wish we did get more of the other guy though celine oh that's a bad bitch i went oh yes yes he got bit or he got scratched or something and again this virus acts very very quickly celine took no fucking time she just like i went oh 
you 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 did that oh yes you do that girlfriend yes because you know how to survive you know what you need to do i don't care if this is your friend how long you you do you only know him for 28 days this is your boyfriend i don't know but you ain't about to kill me mm -mm, mm -mm. i mean she was just like huh. but then like bam, bam, bam. i went oh you yes yes be smart be smart one of my favorite seasons when jim you know i still at the beginning is kind of like searching around ends up at that church and, you know, you see all these, like, bodies, and, you know, he's just looking, and he just goes, hello. And then you just see these two zombies just. I'm just like, run, bitch, run. Again, these fuckers are fast. Those are the zombies, obviously, that I'm afraid of, because, like, no, I'm dead, you guys. I'm so fucking out of shape, and, like, I can't run. Like, I mean, I have to, obviously, outrun somebody, but there's gonna come a point when... I'm going to be that somebody that somebody's going to outrun and I'm going to like, or I'm going to fall and then I'm going to be a goner. But, um, also, I don't know, that kind of just got me to this other guy. Oh my God, there's a dad in the, in the, in the movie. And I mean, talk about the worst the look. That's another thing. Like, that would totally happen to me. Oh, because I'm telling you, like, any little thing that gets on you, he looks up, there's a freaking crow up there and i think he was eating something freaking like drop of blood in his fucking eyeball you guys i mean talk about being unlucky like what are the fucking odds of that when we do get further to the movie we do uh, uh come in contact with some marines and you're like okay we're gonna be safe right but no again humans versus the, the the rage virus you know it's like who's gonna be worse like people literally, literally have lost their shit like i still give you a little bit more on this if it happened you know this had happened within the sequel 28 weeks later these fucking like marines decide that they're gonna uh, rape selena and this other girl thing that are picking up they end up telling jim like the sergeant of telling jim while they're gonna try to go and murder him i promised my men uh women basically to repopulate the world again i mean wouldn't you want to control the virus before you even think about repopulating it because obviously what are the odds of the pregnant woman making it to term because she's gonna be going through a lot of stress she's gonna have to run for her life from these things like there's just so much that i just don't feel like within the days this should have been like even a discussion but again i guess you know like psychopaths or whatever maybe they just wanted to fucking get laid and they were trying to use this as an excuse i don't know it's crazy but jim fucking loses his mind like he got some rage in him without like actually getting the rage virus i went oh shit like he went like Let's just say 28 Days Later is an awesome zombie or non-zombie rage virus kind of movie. I don't know how I am with my gory shit and I, this is like perfect. I think that's why I love zombie movies because there's just so much like gore. Like me and my family, we literally have like a whole zombie apocalyptic like plan and take. Honestly, we wanted to do like a mukbang. Well, I wanted to do one. But bang, whatever the hell they're called um, about like our zombie plan. <laughs> Because me and my nephew, we like this on what we want to do. We I only seen it once a couple months ago and for me to still feel this way. Literally, as I'm talking about it, I'm remembering the excitement that I felt while I was watching it. So with that said, um, 28 Days Later is getting a large popcorn. If you've seen 28 Days Later, what did you think about it? Did you actually like, hate it? Was it just not for you? Do you consider it a zombie movie? Do you not consider it a zombie movie? Of course, before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time i post something new i'll see you guys tomorrow to talk about 28 weeks later wait i just want to make sure that 28 weeks is a fucking hard too because watch it be like fucking aliens and it's um like just action oh yeah it is it is